Well, it's a poor car. As a daily driver, this is kind of what you can expect, especially with GM paint out here in the sun. Oh, what is going on YouTube? One only X room here, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to head over to Harrison Performance and Tuning because we're gonna take the C7 Corvette and we're gonna get it checked out. The paint right now looks terrible, as you just saw. So we're gonna see what they can do to kind of resurrect it. The other thing is we're gonna see what type of projects they got going on there. So stick around, it's gonna be awesome to see what they have going on. Out here at Harrison Performance, it's kind of understated, honestly, until you see all the GTRs that are sitting out here, you actually realize where you're at. It's kind of what I like about places like this. It tells you that they're more about the work than about just showing off of who they are. This is Harrison's flagship GTR. Look at the rims on this thing, carbon fiber lip. This thing is gorgeous. I love GTRs when they're slammed like this. They got the wide bodies on them. They just look so good. Full carbon sound brakes. So you're saying GTRs in yeah. general, yeah. <laughs> uh, GTRs and a poor, sad Corvette. <laughs> Stuffed. <laughs> Look at you. Sweet R32. RB26 motor in there. All wheel drive. <sighs> Careful. Get a small bird stuck in there. <laughs> oh, there's just some amazing, amazing cars stuck through this shop. I'm gonna go run on the dyno, see if I can get a horsepower out of it. Everyone to see what the bottom of a Lambo looks like? There you go. Bottom of Lambo, flat. You know, twin turbo, Huracan, no big deal. <laughs> so I found out that car is 1800 horsepower. The one my wife's standing in front of is 1500 horsepower. These are no jokes, these are real numbers. Absolutely gorgeous machines. Four inch exhaust, the small tubes there to keep the pressures on the turbos. Just little details like that make these cars what they are, just absolute monsters. That one would be about 1,200 or 1,100 horsepower. So just enough to go to the grocery store and back? Yeah. I mean, I take mine and mine's 2,000. <laughs> the one that's sitting up front? Yeah, put the kids in. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love high horsepower grocery getters. I mean, this one's always gotta have Oh, thing's cool. All right, babe, what do you think? Happy. Get it, I'm get it happy. all fixed up. Yeah, just that little spot that you worked on. You can oh, it's it's already a world's difference. Here's some performance. Maybe what they're gonna do some awesome work here for our cars. And yeah, they'll definitely be sending stuff back. This is the problem of living near a freaking Air Force base. They fly like you know every other day. I'm surprised they're flying today because it's actually kind of cloudy. They can't see everything. You know, Air Force. <laughs> What do you think, hon? <laughs> Not too terrible? I'm, I'm excited to get it fixed. It really does look horrible. It's, it's been kind of embarrassing. It really does look bad. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I've been kind of leaving it dirty so that you can't see how messed up the paint is. <laughs> but uh, uh, it'll be nice. I'll feel better knowing that it's protected. And, and, it, and it really wasn't uh, as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I thought it was going to be way worse, too, because of just how bad the actual yeah. paint is. But, you know, they did a couple passes on it and just those passes in five minutes looked amazing. So we're hopeful. And then, you know what? There's more content coming with them. So stay tuned for that. Well, I hope you like this little video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, I think I'm gonna go get some lunch because I'm freaking hungry. So uh, with that, you all have a good one. I'm out.